Hello, this is Retro Plus, and today I'm going to be showing you how to turn a Stylophone Gen X1 into a sort of lo-fi guitar pedal. For this, you will need a USB mixer, or a, something to amplify the guitar signal, and a amplifier, of course. So before we begin, make sure that your volume on the Stylophone is all the way down, and make sure that the volume the gain and the volume of the amplifier all the way down too because if you don't do that you could uh, damage your amplifier due to the volumes being too loud you will also need to make sure that the delay on your Stylophone Gen X1 is not set to on and that the feedback knob is set all the way to the to the leftmost side because if you have the feedback up too much then it will it will cause uh, it will just get louder and louder and that can damage your amplifier, so be careful of that. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is get a mixer like this, or anything that can amplify the guitar signal and turn it into a line level signal. This is my guitar cable, right here. So that's going from the guitar into the, into the mixer. Now I'm going to take the output of the mixer and put it into the into the aux input of the stylophone. So you should have something that looks a bit like this. So now I'm going to take the headphone output of the stylophone and then put it into the amplifier, into the input of the amplifier. Now turn the amplifier on, and turn your stylophone on. Now turn up the volume of the stylophone just a bit, and then turn the volume of the amp up a bit. So that works, and it's not too loud, that's the important thing. Okay, so next, get your guitar. And play a chord. So as you can hear, the guitar is coming through the stylophone just fine. It's at this point you can do your first effect. So, turn the volume of your stylophone up to max. And make sure you turn your amplifier down, because it'll be very loud. And you've just gotten your first effect, which is distortion. So the next effect is like a kind of wah-wah type tremolo effect. Um, like a filter, kind of like you're doing this with a filter. And you can use the LFO here. Uh, just put the resonance all the way up and the filter down. And then rate and depth up. And just mess around that and you can get a kind of cool effect. And you can turn it to a uh, square wave too. You can just get some cool alien sounds with this. So the next fact I'm going to show you how to do is delay. So you can see the delay switch here, which is just part of the stylophone normally. And again, make sure that the feedback knob is all the way to the left, because if it's all the way to the right, then it could damage your amp through the feedback, because it gets louder and louder, and it won't be able to handle the signal. So put your delay on, and you can tweak the settings here. So, uh, it's basically just like a regular delay if you've ever used one. It's a uh, delay time, so that's just the time in between the delays. And then uh, feedback is uh, 
how many delays it does. And I'm, I'm now going to show you what happens if you set it to the all the way to the right. So that's, that's definitely not good for your amp. So I wouldn't suggest doing that. Um, but it's it's this is a pretty standard effect that you can do with this, and it's it's pretty fun. So the final effect is probably one of my favorites, it's reverb, surprisingly. If you set the D time to zero, all the way to the left, as far as it go, and your feedback quite a bit to the right, j just before it starts making this sound, you don't want it to make that, you just want it to be just at the end. So what you've done now is you've basically made a reverb. See that that sounds like a uh, like a cathedral reverb or something. Your level is your wet dry knob, so you can just have a bit or a lot. So it's it's pretty good, and you can you you can tweak the sound of the reverb a little bit. You can make the grains a bit bigger if you uh, tweak if you just inch it ever so slightly. Just a bit like that, but it it ends up sounding like a delay if you turn it too far. So I just have it like a tiny amount, and it sounds like a nice cathedral reverb or something. So it's, it's pretty good. You can get a lot of effects out of the Styrofoam Gen X1. You just have to have a mixer and stuff. So yeah, thank you for watching. This has been Retro Plus, and I hope you have fun with this technique. Goodbye.